Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Investor News. I'm Peter Clausey. Today, we're talking with Rosero. Rosero has an interesting deposit in Brazil. Brazil is a very mining-friendly jurisdiction. Today, we have Chris with us, who's the CEO. Hi, Chris. Hi, Peter. Good to be here. Brazil is a very mining-friendly jurisdiction. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I believe, particularly Minas Gerais, where we are, um, we're just northwest of Belo Horizonte, the mining capital of Brazil, just south of the Lithium Valley, um, just next to the Arusha Niobium mine, which produces about 90% of the world's niobium. Brazil is one of the few places in the world where you can go from early stage exploration through to um, start of construction in um, sometimes less than 24 months. The permitting yep. regime is very good. The environmental agency is very strict but fair. Um, so you've got a very prescriptive um, process to go through. And um, the AM, the mining um, uh, ministry, is uh, also very prescriptive in what you have to do to go through the process of permitting. The other big advantages of Brazil is the high quality technical workforce. Um, because you've got Valley, you've got um, Anglo American, um, the big major companies, um, and it's the second largest iron ore producer in the world. Uh, up there in the gold production. Um, there are a lot of very good geologists, mining engineers, metallurgists in Brazil. So Brazil is a great place to develop a, a project. So let's talk about your project. What is it? Well, um, we have an NI43101 resource measured and in indicated of 1.4 billion tonnes at 12% titanium dioxide and 4,000 ppm total rare earth oxide. Uh, and associated that with that is a super gene enrichment zone at surface, free digging, friable, 130 million tonnes at 23% um, titanium dioxide and um, about 9,100 ppm total rare earth oxide. So this is an amazing deposit in terms of, you know, you have some deposits that are small and high grade, um, you have other deposits which are bulk mining and low grade. This right. is a bulk mining immense deposit at high grade. So you've got the best of both worlds. So having read your documents, I know that your uh, total rare earths include the heavies and the lights. That's correct, yeah. Um, neodymium, praseodymium, dispo di dysposium. Sorry, yeah. pronunciations are always difficult with those ones. Um, and turbian. Um, make up about 28% of our total rare earth oxides. So there, there is a market for those out there. Oh, absolutely. Um, we're in discussions with various uh, groups to um, do the, the mixed rare earth separation. Um, the interesting thing about our deposit is that it's um, 71 kilometres long. It's exactly 40 metres thick over 71 kilometres. We've drilled 7% of the deposit and so, it, I'm, so sir, i'm curious if you've only drilled seven percent of it how do you know it's 71 kilometers long oh um we've done uh scout drilling uh radiometrics actually work quite well we've got quite low uranium and thorium but it's enough to give a radiometric uh, signature of the deposit okay. and we have 500 near on 500 square kilometers of concessions that follow formation called the Capasechi formation, and that's been mapped over 71 kilometres. So uh, what's your background? Are, are you lawyer, engineer, geologist? Uh, one of the good guys, mining engineer. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this, this project for a mining engineer is completely boring because it's, it's friable free digging, no drill and blast um, at surface with very, very little stripping ratio. So from a mining engineer point of view, it's, it's cut and fill mining, rehabilitation as you go. So it's not a, it's not a question of mining engineering. Um, the real intellect and brains behind this project are the metallurgists, and we've got great metallurgists working for us. Um, processing, I, right? You, you've got yes, to figure processing. out a way to process the rare earth elements and the titanium oxide. 
Yeah, so uh, what we do is we would beneficiate uh, the ore, um, separate the coarse fraction of the titanium dioxide and purify that using various means to produce a product for the titanium pigments market. And then we've got the finer fraction, which will be leached for rare earth elements, also leached for more titanium dioxide, which is more applicable to the um, titanium metals market because it, it's quite fine. So um, what do we need titanium for? Well, titanium, it's a big market. Virtually everything you see around you has some titanium in it. Uh, white it's the white pigment and the white base for things like plastics and paint and anything that has a white base and then a color. So um, the titanium market... Is, the, uh, is there any in my phone? Well, we, we'll get on to titanium metal, which is the big growth market, which is really quite interesting for investors. The um, titanium pigment market is worth about $20 billion a year. So it's a, it's a big, deep market which can't be manipulated by one group, say the, the Chinese, for example. Um, and then you go into the titanium metals market and there's a lot of new technologies. Um, you take titanium dioxide, you take the, the oxygen out of it and you, you get titanium metal. Um, traditionally, there's been the Kroll technique and now there's some new techniques for turning titanium dioxide into titanium metal powder for 3D printing of titanium components. Oh, like and scandium, a lot of that, right? A scandium as well. Yeah. Um, we have minor scandium at our deposit, but we, we don't really Scandium count. is found in, in the 3D printer ink. So you you think uh, titanium is going to get into that market? No, um, titanium is actually 3D printing of titanium metal objects. Ah, so for, okay. For aer aerospace. So the, the stages are we make a titanium... Uh, dioxide concentrate that can converts to titanium metal powder and then there's 3d printing of uh, components for things like prosthetics artificial hips knees and that sort of thing and also uh, aerospace and there's a lot more titanium going into cars now because compared to steel it's it's lighter stronger and doesn't corrode it's more expensive but um we've you know, it's all about the economies of scale and new technologies. So producing titanium metal is going to reduce in cost. On the corporate side, uh, the company shares trade on the uh, TSX Venture Exchange. They also trade in Australia and through the OTC, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. And market, um, cap, market cap of around $15 million. Uh, our market cap currently, um, we're trading... Um, we've been trading around 40 cents, so and we've just got over just over 100 million shares in issue, so we're about 40 million Canadian. Okay, the data I have is wrong or out of date. <laughs> it's, I'm peeking well, possibly, at it over the top. Um, about 50 percent of our shares are ADRs on the Australian market and 50 percent on the Canadian market, so you're probably looking at 50 percent of the market cap. Okay, so what's next then for the company? Well, the big news and the big catalyst for revaluation of the company is um, us publishing our preliminary economic assessment. And um, we're doing the final stages of that at the moment, where we've got Osenko and SGS GSOL working on that in Brazil. Uh, we've got a mining engineering consultant who've done, done all the mine planning. Um, and we're just focusing on... The high grade zone, um, we've got 130 million tonnes of that um, at high grades uh, at surface. Um, so we're looking at um, publishing a PEA based on 500,000 tonnes per annum of ore. Don't but tell us what's in it. We're going to stay on side with the regulators. Don't tell us what's in it. Okay. Um, so the next step there will be publishing that. We've just reinitiated um, some final rare earth leach test work with SGS, uh, GS, um, sorry, Lakefield in Canada. And then right. when that's complete, we'll have enough confidence. Um, uh, most of our work in, you know, we have a measured and indicated resource. So it's w way above PEA standards, um, but we just need that last confidence on 
the leach extractions that we'll get for rare earths and then we can publish. Okay, cool. So then there's there's things to look forward to in the company. Yes, absolutely. And Great. then we're moving very quickly to PFS and um, we've been, um, we're working on agreements with potential off takers. Um, we're also working on a project finance for the demonstration treatment plant. Great. All right. Well, look, I, I thank you for your time. I enjoy Brazil. I, I go to the Brazilian Canadian Chamber of Commerce. It's a right. great jurisdiction to be in, and it's yeah. blessed with geologic resources. So you've picked a good jurisdiction. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Resort. Okay, thank you very much, Peter. TSXV, also ASX. I'm Peter Clausio on behalf of Investor News. Have a great day.